My name is Edward Nahamkin, Senior Associate Product Manager for Network Edge, and in this video, I'm going to demo how to create a VeloCloud Edge instance on Network Edge release 2020.2. Before we get started, you will want to create a virtual Edge instance on the VeloCloud Orchestrator and obtain an activation key as well as your VeloCloud Orchestrator FTQN. You can find the activation key by clicking on the Configure tab, then selecting the device you're looking to link up. Make sure to copy this information, as this will be a required step when going through the process of setting up your VeloCloud device. Once you're done with the following steps on the VeloCloud Orchestrator portal, you can get started with the Create Device workflow. First, log into the Equinix Cloud Exchange Fabric portal. From here, click Create a Virtual Device. There are two options for creating a device. You can either create a single edge device without high availability, or a secondary high availability device. For the purposes of this demo, we'll create a single edge device. Locate VMware VeloCloud Edge Instance, then select See Description to continue. From here, click Select and Continue and review the setup process steps. Once you're ready to get started, click Create SD-WAN Device. Select a metro and choose the billing account you'd like to use. From here, you'll want to copy over your activation key and FQDN obtained through the VeloCloud Orchestrator portal. Once you've copied over your activation key and FQDN, you can choose to add an optional password. Keep in mind that this will be required for troubleshooting day zero configurations in the situation where your device doesn't come up. From here, name your device, enter any users who you would like to receive device notifications, select the appropriate software package and version, Include any optional details, such as your purchase order number, order identifier, or portal deal ID, and then select the term length for the device. Click Next when you're ready to proceed. On the following screen, you'll see that the FQDN will now be automatically whitelisted. Customers can add additional IP address subnets if they would like, although this is not required. Next, choose if you'd like to add additional internet bandwidth. Once you're done, click Next to review your order details. On this page, you'll be able to review all of your configuration details and accept the order terms. Keep in mind that the order terms must be accepted in order for the device to be created and provisioned. Once you submit your order, device provisioning can take anywhere from 10 to 60 minutes to complete. Once your device is provisioned, you'll be able to add and edit additional services including VPN, SSH users, additional bandwidth, and more from the Edge Device Details Inventory tab. This concludes the demo on creating a VeloCloud Edge instance on Network Edge. For additional resources and information, visit the Network Edge product documentation site linked below.